What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 423rd <laughs> episode of the Pokemon Podcast. The 342nd. <laughs> it's... What are his numbers? Super effective. I am your host, SBJ. With me is Will. I'm angry at you and Greg, so introduce that dude before I have my chance to, to speak my piece. Introducing what? Greg. <laughs> I will I'm I am working through my disappointment. My team, Team Mellow Yellow, did very poorly in the 2020 Marble League. It was a good league. It was a very exciting year, but I am very disappointed with Mellow Yellow showings. Yellow team always loses. They don't always lose. Oh, well, fall guys would say differently. <laughs> Oh, well, would you well, stop you with and your, your fall you guys and your, and your marbles? Bean. This is a Pokemon podcast. I, now I'm going to say what I got. I yesterday purchased this fantastic game called Pokemon Shield, and I started playing it. Why didn't you guys tell me that Pokemon Shield is better than Pokemon Sword? We it did! Is, I feel is, like you've been better. holding out on me for this entire time. Like, what has this been? <laughs> like, 11, 8, 9 months? Okay, look. We told you that that was a better game a long time ago, but also we didn't tell you at the beginning because we wanted you to play the bad game and transfer Pokemon over to us. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to suffer for your benefit. Yeah. Like, you <sighs> like suffering as it is. We are just giving you what you want. I mean, that's why people listen to the show. Because they like to hear me suffer? Yes. I... Object? <laughs> strike, 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 as I heard from Greg. I, this is a lesson I've learned. What? <laughs> have a show uh, for you all. We have um, some lots of VGC stuff, some Pokemon video game championship stuff. There was the, it is the time. It is the one year anniversary for Pokemon Masters. And I guess we could probably spend two hours on all the makeup day <laughs> events for Pokemon Go. Jeez. But we'll give you the quick summary as well. But let's start off with none of that news. Getting right into it. And there is uh, Galarian Surfetched. Doesn't really make sense because Surfetch is only Surfetch. Uh, v Box in the uh, Pokemon TCG that will come out on September 25th. That's the news. Uh, four booster packs, one oversized Galarian Surfetch V, one promo card. How many packs of Primal Clash am I getting? You know, I'm not seeing any Primal Clash here. I see, uh, I see some XY evolutions. <laughs> <laughs> May as well have been Primal Clash. I see uh, base sword and shield. I think I'm seeing two darkness ablaze, so not the worst. XY Evolutions does have about 18 different Charizards in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charizard's the best, which is yeah. why it's winning second in the poll right now. I, I think I'd have to check. I don't have it in front of me, but I'm going to say this off the top of my head, so take it with a grain of salt. I'm pretty sure XY Evolutions was the best-selling TCG set of all time, which came after... X and Y, but before the Sun and Moon set, but also at the same time, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go dropped. So it's kind of no surprise if they reprint the base set during the time where people got back into Pokemon marketing 101, I guess. But yes, uh, a, a rising Pokemon lifts all mm. Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, they still got a, you know a couple packs lying around. They're just throwing into this booster box, throwing into that box. Well, they're not going to sell themselves. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I just had a realization. The one good thing about them not having Pokemon Worlds this year is we don't have to listen to Steve complain that he got the crummy TCG oh pack when everybody gosh. else got the good I one. I got <laughs> Crimson Invasion. Well, I wouldn't have complained if it was XY Evolutions. They, XY look, Evolutions at least has a chance of Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> I will not confirm or deny that we have spoken to the Pokemon company about making sure you get poor packs because they send you a ton of gifts. What do we get, Steve? What? They don't Nothing. send me. When's the last time they sent me something? They sent you an advent calendar. Yeah. I didn't and, get an advent calendar. No, no, calendar. I didn't. Oh, yeah, they did send me an advent uh, calendar. Oh, yeah, yeah they yeah. did. Uh, just refer to um, that was Article 6.7, Paragraph 3 
in uh, my legal complaint about things that Steve gets that Will doesn't get. Yeah. Hey, I offered you a free ticket provided by the Pokemon Company to the Power of Us. <laughs> yeah, and I, I took it. In, I took it instead of recording a podcast with Will, and I <laughs> still regret that choice. I I I don't recall any of that. I got. <laughs> You, you, I heard that you purchased Pokemon Shield, Will. I have a With extra my own copy. Money. <laughs> I have an extra copy <laughs> of the Pokemon Shield DLC that Nintendo provided me that I can Ooh. send your way. Hey, now we're talking since I already paid for, <laughs> for <laughs> Pokemon Sword. I would appreciate that. would be very helpful so I can have a living Pokedex that has both a Cub Fu and an Urshifu. See, there you go. I'm always, I'm always looking out for my podcasting boys. No, you're not. Oh, <laughs> section seven point six, paragraph is, four. How you're not always looking lawsuit. out for your Pokemon non-gender specific co-hosts. What if I told you there was a free battle ready Porygon two for people who are on the podcast? This for everybody. It's on the website. I'm looking at it right now. It's a code. Oh. Well, I mean, that doesn't mean it's also not for you. <laughs> <laughs> I already got it. So as we're recording this, it is the Pokemon Players Cup this weekend. I, at, one po- at one point, they, they showed the code on screen, and it was nothing but Twitch chat doing exclamation point code in the chat over and over before the broadcast even started, trying to figure out what the code was. And then they showed it, and then Twitch chat, Twitch chat calmed down. But... Uh, this is a battle-ready Porygon 2. Uh, I posted the code on our Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff in the Slack, in the Discord, and then quickly learned how many people don't read the Slack in the Discord as they continue to post the code, <laughs> even though it was in the announcements channel, but that's okay. You live and learn. You try to help Ooh. out. But there's I didn't an announcement see it. channels? Yeah. Am I, am I not subscribed to the announcements channel? What? You have to be. You can't unsubscribe from it. I could do lots of things. <laughs> Porygon is good until August 31st, so plenty of time. I don't like the, that they said battle ready here because they locked the speed IV to be zero and the attack IV to be zero, which is good, but then the other IVs are not good. The other IVs are randomized, so you have to bottle cap those. You don't want to bottle cap the speed because Porygon is meant for Trick Room. Um, so they did lock those. They did EV train it. It does have a proper move set and item. It's just weird that they like didn't just give it perfect IVs in the spots where you would perfect IV it. And you could be like, well, bottle cap it, which yeah, you, totally. But it's level fifty, so you have to get it to a hundred, then bottle cap it. And I think the only reason that's like a minor complaint is because several hours, a couple hours before Porygon, they released a Gastrodon, and it was perfect IVs and bottle capped, and like it was actually ready to go um so i'm not sure but, but was this like somebody's porygon or this is not somebody's porygon uh the ot will be vgc20 and it will come with a ribbon and it will come in a cherish ball the gastrodon was a korean player's gastrodon which is ended that was only like a 36 hour distribution like the Amoongus. Not shiny, but cherish ball, but ribbon, perfect IVs, perfect zero speed, good uh, move set, cherish ball. That one is done. That one, that one. If you missed it, you missed it. Oh, I missed it. I, I didn't posted it in announcements. <laughs> I, I'm opening Slack now because I'm pretty sure I am not in announcements, or I have it like on super mute. You could. You could mute announcements, I guess. You could take this the kind step to text. I know. The, the, and honestly, the text. things that he does text us about versus the things versus that are the things actually he should important. Text us about. What did I not text you about the Amoongus? I feel like I did text you about the Amoongus. You, you did, did the Amoongus, which was not necessary since I, whatever. I, I listen. <laughs> I just, I, I, there are times when I just don't understand you. I, look, Talk, I, use, I, use I, posted, I posted on Twitter, in the Discord, on the Slack, in the Instagram. Now you're asking for personal text messages? 
No, I want shared text messages with me and Greg that yeah. has nothing personal about it. What? You haven't joined any of my Heatran raids? We've got I'm, like six. I'm I've done money. Eight. He trans with you at your bachelor <laughs> yeah. party. I'm not sullying our perfect heat trend dream with this remote raid four dollar <laughs> ripoff scam. How much of my we life have... do you need to control? <laughs> you don't even live here. Remote raids are cheaper than actual raids right now. <laughs> hey, get my wife a job, <laughs> and I'll be in Minnesota. Trying. I have been trying. That hey, this, I, is, this is not from lack of effort. I heard she applied for a new job last night. Awesome. It's a real awkward time to apply for a job. Right <laughs> yeah. <now>. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best time to move, though, to be fair. <laughs> it is. I mean, you could just move. You know, I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely uh, just thought about it. Uh, Pokemon Masters. Uh, there's a lot here in Pokemon Masters. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, I mean, they, fire up the gardenscapes. I'm going to pull in this off Pokemon.com. They put out like a 10-minute video. I don't know if Will or Greg saw it. I watched it. Why Why? Why would I do not play <laughs> Will, well, wait, Pokemon What, because I didn't Masters. text it to you? Because you got to snap to data Pokemon news. <laughs> Maybe if you saw the video, Will, you would have been like, I want to play Pokemon Masters now. Maybe if I was uh, Not with this a update. partner with Dina, I'd put forth the effort, but Dina did not reach out to me. What if, well, look, do you, you want to sign some paperwork with DNA? I'm sure I can move you right on in. <laughs> what if I told you, Will, <laughs> that you're no longer playing Pokemon Masters, but instead you're playing Pokemon Masters EX? I mean, please waste your breath and tell me that because I am unmoved. <laughs> but the name change is to reflect the many new experiences the game has to offer since its release. That's off does, Pokemon. Does it have a match three component? Nope. Yeah, I'm out. What about a six st star EX Ugh. sync pair? I hear the disgruntledness in your voice, mm. Greg. As this is a podcast, I cannot see your face. I'm sure it is. There's it's a frowny. Sour. It is sour and frowny. Emoji, emoji, frown, frown, frown. Let's put uh, emotions aside here. Is this okay. a thing that other gotcha games do? They go from five to six? Is this common? I have never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that answer. I don't even understand what that means. They go from five to six. What are they supposed to do? Go from five to ten? Well, I think five is the rarest. Yes. And now they're oh. saying that you can take... Now they're going to go to a six-star EX, which is the... It's so dumb. <laughs> okay. With the addition of six-star EX sync pairs, your, str your strength and potential will increase. Okay. Obviously. Uh, after you train a five-star sync pair and meet certain conditions, you will be able to raise a sync pair's potential to six-star, elevating the power even more. As a bonus, six-star sync pairs will also get to wear different color outfits. Only a few sync pairs will be raised to level six. Any new sync pair added to the game over time will become six-star EX. And over time, all existing sync pairs will have the capability. One of the first sync pairs you will be able to raise to six-star is Red and Charizard. Okay. There's other changes, but <sighs> the outfit thing is cool. I, I like outfits. Uh, I'm a bit bummed that our own character still has the same outfit. Yep. Saw, or I saw somebody point out that the in the trailer, they only had one red, one out of five reds, and it was six star, which I think you need three out of five for, um, what's that called? Grid. Yeah. So that's good, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but we don't know anything really else about this, unless I'm missing something, Greg. No, I, so this is purely a function of the fact that they start at three. This is a, in essence saying we're adding a fourth star. We just call it six stars. The <laughs> frustrating thing that they're doing is they still haven't really sync grids for every character. They are going to release things going forward that will have the six star 
and eventually get back to everybody else. And the main thing that this does is makes all getting all of the old sync pairs that you already don't enjoy getting from your polls even worse. Because they're all so many of them are already stuck and you can't use them at all. And you you are now we're now in this thing where we're getting so few gems again. We're getting like everything's cut back. Oh, speaking way of gems, back. did they always do the eighty gems a day for doing yeah. your like? No, that's that the eighty gems a day is a new is a new thing from for dailies. I forget what it used to be. It used to it was be, when they uh, got rid of bingo, right? Yeah, well, they still have bingo. No, it's when they got rid of because you used, used to have daily. You used to get a daily voucher to increase your pair, and now you get the. 80 gems instead. I think that's better. It's a little bit better. It's still not enough. Announcing that you're doing six stars, and of course you're picking Charizard, it's like, so the ones that are already overpowered are only going to get worse, and they have no real reason to go back and fix things, even though they say they will. They've been saying they're going to release sync grids for everybody, and we are nowhere near that. Like, nowhere near having full sync grids for older characters. And so, by the time they implement this, that gap will be so wide that it just makes getting those older ones so much worse. Do you think the sync grid problem is because it's complicated? Yes. <laughs> because I mean, in a word, first- the sync... The, the sync grid time- thing is really, is really complicated. The first time I went to do sync grid, I was like, it's, it's very intimidating. Yes. And you, there, there's no instruction. No. Uh, you can redo it, which I don't think they make clear. But then nope. the worry is, if I put the stuff in it and then it's wrong, am I stuck with this? But you, you can, like, clear it out and get your orbs back or whatever. And yeah, the thing is, is, like, it doesn't really... It doesn't explain what the different paths do. Like, the game is not... Unless you are a stat wonk, the game isn't great at explaining to you how this changes things. I like, still, if I go down this path, what am I getting? I still don't know what speed does in the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's, it's really I, obtuse. I use, like, the Samurott, and it's like, increase speed. And I'm like, okay, but I don't okay. feel like I'm fast here. <laughs> what is yeah. it, it just means it. Oh, I was going to say it can attack first, but I guess not. It's real time, yeah. Yeah, it's... <sighs> It, me, my, from my, what I understand, uh, what I understand for speed is it increases how quickly the move gauge refills. But I think the first two or three levels, it's so not noticeable that until it gets pretty high, then you'll see it fill up really quick. But eh, yeah, I, I honestly yeah, don't. I, know I mean, the what only reason does. I slightly know Synchrids is because my Twitch chat was like the max amount of or sync orbs you put into a grid is seven fifty, and they're like you can't go above you can go above seven fifty, but you can't spend more than seven hundred and fifty, and nowhere does the game tell you that, right? And like, so I put seven hundred and fifty into Skyla because they're like because my Twitch chat was like oh Skyla is awesome. Um, and I think the Pokemon Masters subreddit also loves Skyla. Skyla, a three-star sync pair. So I, I, I did two things, and I, I'm going to blame my Twitch chat, but number one is I put 750 sync orbs into Skyla to then realize that I can't even spend all 750 because I don't have Skyla always, already leveled up because Skyla was a limited time event and she's not there anymore. Mm-hmm. I know that now, and I've I've mm-hmm. I live with that mistake, and that's fine. Like it's not like those sync orbs have gone to. You could maybe argue they've gone to waste, but they're they're still sitting there. So when Skyla does come back, I can then use the rest of them. But if I was limited on sync orbs, I could have used that for another character. But if you're just like a basic, if you if you love if you like masters and you're not visiting the subreddit and you're not listening to podcasts and you're not watching i don't know masters youtube videos you you have no clue and the thing is is like try out builds but they they're very obtuse they're very they aren't clear as to what ones like if i go down this path is it the stuff that's touching it unlocks like because there's stuff that's locked and you're like well 
Does that unlock by me leveling up? Does that unlock by me spending my secret? Like, the game is terrible at explaining how this really complicated system is. As a result, I have not really done anything with sync orbs because it's hard to invest in a sync grid when they are, especially now announcing, oh, hey, we're going to have super-powered pairs coming out. It's like, okay, well, I don't want to spend anything on these old ones because I don't know when Skyla is ever going to get a six star EX. I will wait for the better one that will be a six star EX. And then I'll spend all my sync <laughs> orbs on that and everything below it is worthless. And the game is not kind enough to how players want to play that you can use any Pokemon that you, any pair that you like in there and expect to be able to get to the upper limits. You just can't. Yeah, my, the reason I brought up the sync grid stuff is because my only maybe thought, and I don't know, I don't. This is, I like, I don't have any inside scoop at DNA. I, I, ju I just think that like because sync grids don't seem very user friendly, that maybe the reason they didn't roll it out to everyone is because they're reworking it, which would probably be good because I don't think what we have now for sync grids is like the best <laughs> thing to interact with. Yeah. Does it's Red just, and Charizard just, have Syncred? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, they have a full Syncred. Oh, I only think I have one Red and Charizard, so I don't think I can see it. Yeah, it's just... Uh, okay, so the other... Fix the rest of the game before you add six stars. Fix the rest! So another thing they're adding to the game, uh, which is oh, part of the... maybe this will draw me in. What here, is it? Th this is, I think this is cool. A uh, big update on August 27th is the Champion Stadium Kanto Challenge. In the Champion Stadium, you choose 15 sync pairs to take part on f in five three-on-three -three battles. Once a sync pair is battled, it cannot take part in any remaining battles. The Kanto Challenge has you facing off against the Elite Four and the Kanto League Champion Blue. Before you take on Blue, you must challenge the Elite Four in any order you wish. So put some thought into how to assemble your sync pair for this gauntlet. There are two difficulty levels. Normal is standard, and hard will give an expert trainer extra challenge. Playing through the champion stadium will earn you items to raise your sync pairs to six star EX. Even if you're playing normal, you do not miss out on rewards. Each week, you will have an opportunity to play through the champion stadium in order to earn items. Just be aware that if you're playing on hard, your opponent's Pokemon and type weakness will change each week. So you will have to consistently update and adapt your strategy. This seems cool to me because I feel like you don't have a lot of incentive not to use Skyla. <laughs> because she's so good. So you're kind of forced into Skyla has to be on one specific team. And it gives you an incentive to level up other sync pairs and try to put them together. And I do like that hard will be different every single week. So that's cool. It has the potential to be cool. There's a couple of things that, that make me go, mm. So one is there's obviously going to be a very set pattern to just get through the Kanto League, right? Like, these are the sync pairs that you're going to need to have, especially on the normal difficulty. Uh, I'm concerned about the stamina cost of doing this because stamina is already quickly becoming a problem. We can't spend any of this episode talking right. about stamina. It's just a problem. It's it is a problem. I will I will uh, say that the team that I work with at DNA, <laughs> which is the American team, which does not make the decisions, the Japanese team does. That's why there was two Japanese guys in the video. Um, they're they're very well aware. Type weaknesses changing each week is a nice thing for people who are struggling to find things to do. It is definitely a money sink at that point, because you are going to have to try to invest in 15 good sink pairs and hope that you have them. And that is not a given, especially for a lot of the really good ones are limited offer ones. So, you know, I've pulled one Sigma suit, Cynthia, I will probably not pull another ever. And I have no way of raising that, right? And so I think that's a problem that is happening in this game, that a lot of these one-time things have gone away, and they're not coming back anytime soon that we can see. And so there's just a lot of 
there's a lot of spending resources in the game that does it it leads to a feeling of I don't feel great spending this because since I didn't get a max Skyla, I'm picking something lesser so that I can get through the game, but the minute I can get Skyla, I'm switching. Right? And that's not a great feeling in your game. Like there's you don't have such an abundance of resources that you feel like, well, it's okay that I leveled Will up to Max and did a whole sync grid because I have plenty for when I finally get enough for skyla yeah is that right not now to? it's you know right now it's just like well i mean i guess i have no other choice it's kind of the same thing like you can get cyrus but you have to get all the good pulls to be able to level cyrus and if you don't get them cyrus is just stuck right because you can you can only use the palkia cans to level up palkia and if you just don't get them then you're done. Like that pair is basically useless. It's the Zinnia problem. It's all of the limited problems where you feel like here are the good ones that I want to use. I don't get them. So I either have to sink a lot of money into it. And the money in this one is still really bad. The deals are still very bad. And there's still, still a sense of I'm wasting my time on lower sink pairs. And it would be interesting if the normal one also changed weaknesses so that people could not could raise a bunch of other ones that weren't top tier and you could play with your favorites. But since it's expert difficulty, you know that you can only use the top ones at the top of those charts. Um, and the six star makes this whole problem worse. It's just a really weird decision. It's just like a really weird take that they're going on. Um, and they've become even stingier, like as everybody feared, they've be gone back to being very stingy with the resources. Um, and it, 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 it creates a frustrating, it creates a frustrating feedback loop of, I want to play the game. I like certain parts of this game, but I am forced to make really suboptimal and poor decisions. And it hurts because I don't know when I'm going to get these things again. Um, they, fixed some of it with the sync orb grips and those things where you feel like you can get those resources, but that's leading into the much larger we're not going to touch on it stamina problem. I feel like I'm missing a part of the announcement. I also have the Cynthia and como O. Was there one other thing they announced? The name change? The Name change, Cynthia, como O. Elite 4. They Cost- said there would be, there would be more there would Elite 4s. More- yeah, they'll they'll be doing the other regions. I kind of hope whatever point they don't go in order. It'd be nice. What to... are they gonna do for Jodo? <laughs> well, Jodo's very recycled. <laughs> I, it would be nice if they just maybe like I don't know did the Gen Seven get that out of the way, still fresh in people's memory. Maybe not go to the disappointing Jodo one off the bat, which is literally the the same. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't have any shiny eggs in this game. Wait, what is J- Jota's order is Will, Bruno, Will, Koga, no, Will, Bruno, which is the same, Koga. Yeah. Which is not, the, which is, I mean, you fought him as gym leader, but now he's there. So Will is new. And then Karen, right? And yeah. then Lance, which then you Lance. Would fight. Lance and his 18 Dragonites for no. Yeah. No good reason. Well, speaking of dragon sync bears, Cynthia and Coma O is the first of first part of the anniversary event. It goes until September third. Uh, her Cygna suit, I think it looks great. Uh, she's yeah, with Coma I really o. like. I really like her Cygna suit. I like her little uh, cutscene that she has. That is really good. I have I have Cynthia Sigma suit. It's the only thing I managed to pull. I have I don't have the other Cynthia, FYI. Not that I'm bitter. Oh, I've you know, three of those. Uh, <laughs> there if you go to Pokemon Masters official website, there is a new sync pair coming on August twenty seventh, and there's another one coming on September 9th. So I people are assuming that's gonna be Cygna Suit Blue, Cygna Suit Green. I I don't I don't <laughs> I don't know. I feel like every time people are like, Oh, it's a new sync pair coming, it has to be blue and green. It never is, so I'm not sure. Maybe Diantha is also still not in the game. 
When are they going to put Deantha in the game? I mean, she is in the game on the loading screen. She, yeah, she is on the but loading she's screen. she's not. She's not in the game. Oh, you know, they did show some stuff we missed. They showed that there is a Lily, Gladion, and um, Lusamine event going to be coming. Oh, which I is, have such ooh. an issue with this. What? That sounds fun to me. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, uh, <laughs> you're making me the bad guy, Greg, because I'm like excited for all these. And you're like, nope, no, 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 this. None of no, that. No, no, no. Just because you enjoy something and Greg does not, does not mean it's good or bad. It's just that you're different <laughs> people with different things you <laughs> okay. enjoy. Here's my only issue. What is the problem with the Lily event now? (laughs) That whole plot line was how horrible of a mother she was. And they're like, force these two kids to reconnect with their abusive mom. No! She, she, no, no, no. She <laughs> no, went they to read- see a psychiatrist in Kanto. <laughs> they retconned it in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. She wasn't abusive at all, except for that. <laughs> except for that time she entirely was. Like, there are so many other families you could pick that's not like, hey, make these kids deal with their bad mom. And if you get them real good, they'll all be friends again? No, Maybe, thank you. <laughs> may- look. <laughs> let's let's give Masters credit where credit is due. The silver storyline, very good. Yes. And that is something that the main series games didn't really touch on. But the silver storyline was good. So maybe the Lily storyline will just maybe address that and try to flesh that out a little bit more. Uh, the Cyrus stuff, not great. Uh, I'm Cynthia was like, we're going to arrest you. And send you to jail, or you need to change. And Cyrus was like, like I'm I'll joining. never change. <laughs> I'll never I'll, change. I'll, I'll never change. I still want to destroy this world, but I guess I'll play along so I don't go to jail. Thanks. Yeah, the Cyrus one, not... Not great. Not... Real weird. Good. It's just like... Also, it's just, it's very hard for me when people, if people play Pokemon for the story, I, I know they're out there. I, I see you. I get it. But there are better stories <laughs> in much other, like, Pokemon stories are, are nowhere near top of, like, moving, pulling on my heartstrings or, or, or whatnot. And Cyrus's character is, is pretty, I think, I think Silver is easier to write as a character because they're, like, young and you can be like, well, you're, it's like every, every adult can relate to this. Like when I was a kid, I was an idiot, right? Yep. So it's, it's, uh, sorry, no, I can't, <laughs> I can't relate to that at all. I've always been perfect. So it's easy to like write a character that's like stubborn and, 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 and maybe a thief and had dad issues. Maybe. Uh, well, definitely a thief and had daddy issues like Silver did. Whereas, like, when you're writing a grown man <laughs> who's like, I want to crush the world, and every time he gets magically teleported, whether it's, like, Rainbow Rocket or this, he's like, is he's like, this, I, is this is, the new world? I am on a beach. This is, beach. this looks very different. I think, I think this is, every, oh, it is Cynthia. You are wearing a different outfit. I will crush you. And she's like, I'm going to send you to jail. And he's like... I still want to crush, <laughs> but I will join your team to crush the Elite Four. <laughs> like, it's like they just don't know how to write Cyrus because he's an adult and it just seems very silly. <laughs> well, his entire worldview is like liking people as a weakness. Destroy the world. <laughs> You're imperfect. How dare you come near me, child? And Sophocles is like, I have a Rotom. <laughs> <laughs> he does at one point go, I like this Rotom. I like this Rotom. It reminds me of Rotoms. It's like that whole plot line. And I'm like, I mean, it was kind of bad that you were letting a mob boss on your team. This guy is straight up a psychopath. <laughs> he has stated multiple times to everybody on this beach that he wants to blow up the world. And he hasn't said Okay, no. <laughs> it's 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 unreal actually. I mean like <laughs> they, 
they I'm, I'm, I I wonder if there's like some profile like all these characters have like profiles of the Pokemon company and they like pulled out Cyrus and they're like all right what do we got for Cyrus <laughs> well he's dedicated in making sure the world starts over uh really loves space and time and has no empathy for anything <laughs> <laughs> all likes, right likes Rotom well, who are we gonna pair him with. <laughs> well, um, Sophocles hasn't done anything in a while. <laughs> They're the same, right? They make things. Sophocles likes to build systems, and Cyrus wants to rebuild the universe. Yeah. To cut I, out human emotions. Boy, that Lysander. When they add Lysander to the game, it's going to be the same thing, right? Oh my god. Well, and you're all like, oh no, they're going to do a great job with Lusamine. I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> There's it's like- going to be like, <laughs> I'm completely apologetic that I tried to kill both my kids. I spent some time in a coma. How did I end up on this beach? Oh, well, kids, don't you love your mom? You yeah, have to love right. your mom to defeat the Elite Four. I guess we'll love mom now. Y- yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> I mean, like, de- defeating the Elite Four is pretty a pretty important milestone in people's lives. It is. <sighs> so, <sighs> okay, the last thing they talked about was that they got they received lots of feedback that people liked sync the Cygna suit characters, so they want to add more to the game and summer character and uh, sorry event ca- seasonal characters. So people love the seasonal, people love the Cygna suit, which actually doesn't surprise me because it's a game where you collect characters. Of course, that is like, I agree with those people. Like, that's the thing I want to do. I want to, I think Cygna suit, Cynthia, Cygna suit, Grimsley, Cygna suit, uh, Elisa, I think they're all, they all look incredible. They're all awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, they look great. And they said the next seasonal event will be in October and it will be a Halloween event. And so people are excited. We've had two seasonal events since the game has launched. One was the winter stuff, and then the other was the summer stuff we just got. So this will be the third one. Uh, I thought the announcement was fine. I think the EX name change is really weird. I am 100% sure, maybe 99% sure, the reason is because Japan. They There must be some accept- yeah. obsession with like sticking EX at the end of things to make... Because Japan has those huge machines that have, like, the slappy things. It's I don't know if you've ever seen it. They're at, like, Pokemon Centers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, like, the a slappy ho- the, Yeah, there's like, four of, there's, like, four of them at every Pokemon Center. They're these huge red-looking arcade machines. And you have, like, these little EX discs. They're, like, little rectangles with a Pokemon on it. And then you slide it into the machine, and it reads the Pokemon. And then there's just a giant red button... That's all there is on this machine, and you just slap that button, and it's like Pokemon Go before Pokemon Go of just, like, hitting your finger the one button over and over in a raid battle. Mm-hmm. And they change the name of that thing, like, every two years. <laughs> They're what, like, what, Pokemon what Slap for hitting EX, the button? Pokemon Slap V, Pokemon Slap EX. Uh, I don't... You get a high score? <laughs> okay. Look, we'll have we'll have Andrew explain it. They could they change Andrew these machi- doesn't know. They change these machines like every two years and they change the like shape of the rectangle slightly, so you gotta buy more rectangles. It's 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 fascinating. It's Capitalism actually is the worst. I am I was hoping they were going to address the gem situation. I think gems are still overpriced. Gems are way overpriced I still. I was hoping that they would say, like, hey, we're changing it, so when you do a 10-pull, you're guaranteed at least two four-stars. Or like, they didn't address that at all. And maybe nope. they don't have to because they're making money. I don't... And, oh, so, uh, this is another... If they are going to release six stars, then guarantee me a four-star at a 10-pull. Just guarantee you one four-star so I don't feel like I had for this last month 33 star pulls in a row. Uh, they are gi- they are giving 3000 gems. I think on August 27th that starts, which is a 10 pull. We uh, I think that's all the masters news. That's everything. It was a big masters update. Sorry, 1 year anniversary. <laughs> I mean, it's a big thing to celebrate. Yeah. And I will say this. They have improved a lot about the game. <laughs> but 
some of these new choices have me scratching my head real hard. <laughs> like, what? don't slide back now. Come on. I thought there would be a little bit more, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they may, I was like to say, oh, they may be keeping things hidden, but it's seven days away, right? Yeah. And I mean, they can, they've, if we want to just touch on the st stamina issue real quick, they have definitely given out gems and given out apology stuff and have, have done that over the last year. Like, hey, this yep. one bug that you didn't experience, but one person out of the however many people played did, here's 3,000 gems. Sorry, this we fixed it. Um, so it's not like if, if something doesn't feel right or something... They they also have said that the stamina system is technically a trial period, and they are open yep. to feedback. You can submit that feedback through the app of what you like and what you don't like. Hopefully, they're listening. I'm sure I I know that I know they know the issue, but whether they're going to do something about it, yeah, it's very easy for them to give you know ten packs of stamina or gems or just straight up change it on the fly. Like they don't have to wait for a reason to change it. It's a living game at this point. They can change it when they want. I would just like them to, for the daily stuff, at least one pack of skip tickets, which I love skip tickets, but they are giving out way too many. I'm almost at 700 and I can't even use them. Is just have one of those be a hundred stamina refill. Would make stamina so much easier to deal with if part of my daily amount was... I got one of those packs of three skip tickets was just a 100, 200 stamina refill. We will take a break. We've got some VGC stuff to talk about and uh, some Pokemon Detective Pikachu stuff that has popped up. So we will be right back. No, 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 no. Do it right. Do it right. Do it right. I don't know what that means. And we are back. back. I stopped doing the we are back like six months ago. <laughs> now do it, do it, do it. And we are back from our break. And we are back, back, back. And we are back from our break. And we are back, 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 back. are back this is your last warning last warning for the kickstarter <laughs> it ends on 28th i believe friday the 28th so if you are listening to this on monday or tuesday or wednesday you have a couple days left if you want to get in so kickstarter link in the show notes on the slack in the discord on the twitter probably don't have to go into it too much as the fourth week and thank you to everyone who backed. It's already funded, so now's the time to get in because it's going to happen. Yeah, it's gu guaranteed. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. don't worry about is uh, being at Vaporware. Uh, we know how to find Steve, so. Yeah, it's true. The Pokemon Company has announced a rule set for the upcoming VGC Series 6 via Pokemon Home. Uh, 6 Teen frequently used Pokemon will be illegal. Ooh. You will get arrested in an upcoming competitive tournament. Series 6 will go live on September 1st. Just to be clear, because I actually forgot this. Series 5 and I believe Series 4 both lasted like two months each. So we've been in Season 5 for a while now. So this is Series 6, even though this is the like ninth month of the game. I think. I mean, it didn't say month six. It says series six. Yeah. But when they started, it was like once a month because they were like slowly introducing Gigantamax Pokemon. Then it got weird. I want to say it was season, season four was the first two month season. And then season five was two months. And I'm assuming C series six will take us to Crown Tundra probably. 
Um, all of September, all of months. October. Yeah. September, October, yeah. So probably, probably Crown Tundra. And then Series 7 will start. So they, uh, this is what happened. They took the top 10 Pokemon in singles, and they took the top 10 Pokemon in doubles, and then they just banned them. Um, but there were over, there was, a, <laughs> <laughs> there was overlap. Pokemon that are banned. Incineroar? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. It was just Incineroar. No, it was, Rillaboom? uh, Rillaboom? Rillaboom, yep. Hey, I know my stuff. Yeah. Rillaboom? Togekiss? Cinderace, Incineroar, Sriracha, please. Indeedy, both are banned for the record. Tyranitar, Whimsicott, Torkoal, Dragapult, Venusaur, Porygon 2, Mimikyu, Gyarados, Hippowdon, Excadrill, and Magnazone. Uh, so the Porygon that they just gave me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is banned. Yes. Porygon had to fall so Dusclops could. <laughs> Look, they d- they did better than most TCG companies. Um, let's not say Watsy out loud uh, to <laughs> k- make you pay for something and then ban it a month later. Okay, but what did Torkoal do? Torkoal is really dominant in Trick Room teams. And it helps Venusaur ah, and yeah, it helps Venusaur a ton, and it helps. It makes Venusaur like the fastest Pokemon in the world when when Torkoal's out. So why are they doing this? Change up the meta, keep it interesting. And I honestly think no one would have played. <laughs> the Players Cup is happening now. There were a lot of competitive people that walked away. When all the tournaments were canceled for the year. And I think if they would have just continued with the current rule set of season five, no, like no one would have played. There's not a lot of like people playing now compared to, you know, before COVID. I mean, do you really think that taking these out, these 16 out, will draw a bunch of people to the game? Yes. No, no, no. The, the real thing. Okay, uh, Steve might be a little bit correct because people love to complain and they're like, every team is the same six Pokemon. It's Rillaboom and Cinder or Togebot, right? And then yeah. they're like, well, okay, yeah. so you can't have those. And so it's like now that every team is not going to be those six, it's going to be a different six. But the yeah, real it's, reason. It's just going to be a different six, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. That's, when that's you rem- how metas work. Yeah. Metas will always rise to the top. But the real reason is. Did you notice on that list that there were no genies that were being banned? That's the issue. Insufficient genies. Okay, well, they're not in the game yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. somebody fix that. Okay, so... The, okay, the... you said yes, this will bring people into the game, into competitive. Support your claim. Support my claim? I've never, I've never played VGC before, ever. And now they've banned 16 Pokemon, including all of the starters. I don't think it brings new people in. I think it okay. brings people that are salty or frustrated with the meta back in and willing to try it again. But it's just, it just, but doesn't it just create a different meta? Like, is, is the next, uh, the next Pokemon after this so varied that you, that you'll have a whole, like, 40 or 50 that you could see? see no, no, or no. Is no. It- so, see that, no, that's not the problem. The problem is when you have a stagnant meta, like all, all, all metas will stagnate at some point because people will churn it out. They'll figure out which is the best team and those, those will be the best teams with small variations. The problem is when a stagnant meta is in place for a year. If you have the meta change up every two months, people are interested because in that two months, you're gonna, that's when you're going to develop the churn and everything, then you play it out. And then maybe towards the end of the two months, that's when it becomes a little boring. And it's like, oh, these six dudes again. But it's like if every two months you're changing it up so that it is a, a new rotation and there's a new thought process, that, that does keep it interesting and appealing. Uh, a good example of how this works, and I'll keep it within Pokemon. I could go Destiny or Fortnite or Apex, <laughs> but within Pokemon, if you look at the Pokemon trading card game, you you can those metas last for three months. 
and then a new set of cards get introduced. Some current metas get better. Some current decks in that meta get better. Some get worse. You know, Dragapult was a very good deck um, before Darkness Ablaze, and now because of Eternatus in Darkness Ablaze, which is the current set that just came out, Dragapult's not really good anymore. <laughs> Um, but the problem in that meta is it, it, there's money involved. So if you don't, if you can't afford to build Eternatus, well then yes, Dragapult is still good. <laughs> but you can have good metas and bad metas. So I would argue that the Dark Explorers meta, which both Will and I played, which I thought was extremely good. Darkrai was pretty dominant in that meta, but there was still there were still ways to counter it, and there was still enough variety between Darkrai decks. You could run Darkrai with Sableye, you could run Darkrai with Terrakion, you could just run Darkrai with Absol, uh, you could run Darkrai, Terrakion, and Sableye, um, and then you could just not run Darkrai. Like, you could run straight Terrakion. Like, there was a lot of variety, I think, in the Dark Explorers set. And then what happened after that was the Team Plasma rotation started coming in. I'm skipping around. There was more sets in between, but... Uh, and then Team Plasma introduced Hypnotoxic Laser and um, Verbank Gym. And that was the meta. Like, you, everyone was running for Hypnotoxic Laser. Everyone was running Verbank. If you weren't running Verbank, you were running something to counter Verbank, but you still wanted to run Hypnotoxic because you could take advantage of their Verbank, and it was just such a good card to run. Mm -hmm. And that meta was bad. And that meta was bad enough for me and a lot of other people to walk away from the competitive. And so I think with the introduction of Rillaboom, uh, the introduction of Porygon 2 back, people probably walked away. Because, like, Cinderace, Rillaboom, these, these Pokemon that just instantly became dominant when Season 5 started are frustrating to deal with. And there didn't really seem to be an excellent counter to those... That wasn't just the default counter that people were using. And Dragapult has been annoying since day one. Uh, Togekiss has been annoying since day one. Venusaur got really good when Venusaur was introduced. Uh, but since then, you know, Venusaur has, you know, been countered. So I think you, you remove these 16 Pokemon. 16 new Pokemon rise to the top. But the question is... Are those 16 Pokemon going to stay dominant, or is there going to be a variety of stuff that you can work with, and is that going to be healthy, or are people going to be like, man, I wish Togekiss was back, or, oh gosh, nothing is working because Whimsicott's not here. And I think that's exciting, and so yeah, I guess that's that's my argument. Like, the Pokemon company's been doing this for 20 years with the, the TCG, uh, and the fact that they really haven't done this with the the video game since sword and shield is well i guess they kind of did it with sun and moon with saying like megas are allowed this time but z moves are allowed this time but now you can get both i think it's exciting honestly oh, i i definitely agree i think it's i mean the biggest complaint from the vgc community was that those metas became stagnant and stayed stagnant for long 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 periods of time so now they're de they're these are real solutions for, you know, swapping up the meta and, and making it something new for people to figure out, which is what is like a huge appeal and interesting to folks. Yeah. And I think the thing that's going to happen starting season six is Durant becomes number one. I think Durant rises to the top as the number one Pokemon easily. And then what will happen is people will probably run specific solutions to Durant and then... Durant players will not be able to counter the solutions and they will stop running Durant. <laughs> Isn't and, Durant four times weak to fire? Yeah. Yeah, but what's outspeeding Durant at this point? Uh, my trick room slow poke? I, hmm. So, like, it, like, I think the only thing that outspeeds Durant is Talonflame. And what, what, you, what, what do you do? You, like, you follow me. The Talonflame attacks the follow me, and then Durant Max Rockfall's on the Talonflame, and GG Talonflame can't survive Max Rockfall. Are you sure that Durant can learn Rockfall? Yeah, it mm. can. It can learn Rock Slide. 
So that's Max Rockfall. Ugh. So the reason Ban Durant's rock go- slide. Now we, we got to start banning some moves. <laughs> Bad moves. Is what we've got to do. I mean, the the meta also got changed up when the move tutor stuff came out, right? Like gla- Grassy Glide wasn't a move two months ago, and now people run Grassy Glide. And the last two months were so dominated from Rillaboom doing Grassy Glide that it was frustrating, and there wasn't a real good counter to Rillaboom, which wasn't like in DD. I think. Brave Bird needs to become a priority move again and not have the restriction of 100% HP. That's my campaign. Fix Brave Bird. (laughs) The reason I think Durant becomes number one is because Durant already came in. Durant, I think, already won a tournament before COVID and then came in second in another tournament. Durant's ability is hustle which is like increase moves by 20%, but decrease accuracy by 20%. And then Durant's really fast. Durant has one weakness, which is fire, which is four times weak too. But wait, doesn't Rock Slide only have 80% accuracy? But when you j- when you Dynamax, your moves are 100% accurate, which means hustle. Who, where did I? That wasn't in the manual. Which means... <laughs> which means... Which I really loved opening Pokemon Shield yesterday because I got a physical copy and there's nothing inside. Yeah, there nothing is inside. nothing. What a joke. So Durant does 20% more damage, 20% less accurate or something like that. But when you have three turns of 100% accuracy and you're already the fastest Pokemon and you can max Rockfall, you can max Steel Spike, you can max whatever other two moves they teach Durant, they probably give it a Life Orb so it does another 20%. So there's nothing... I I think Durant becomes number one for the next week or two after September 1st, but you need probably Arcanine goes up. Arcanine goes way up. I'm trying to think of other fire Pokemon. <laughs> I was going to say maybe Cinderace, but Cinderace got banned. Heatmore? Heat, I don't think Heatmore is good at all. But I mean, Heatmore is eat Durants. This is yeah. more. It should be an it auto win, lore. really. You know, you say they're Durant on the field, Heat ran on the field. It's just auto win at that point, at that point right? Yeah. No, heat more, not heatran. You've got heatran on the mind, man. No, I said heat more. I heard heatran. Maybe I've got heatran. You on got the heatran mind. in the brain. <laughs> hey, remember when we said Urshifu was built for competitive, and it avoided the ban because it was like the eleventh most played, not the tenth most played. Yep. Sliding in. I don't. Know, I, I'm, I I would take Incineroar over Urshifu any day. I would rather deal with Incineroar than Urshifu. Urshifu is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Tail and Flame, I think, goes way, way, way up. Charizard probably goes up. I mean, is Talon Flame? Talon Flame is very fast, right? Hmm. Yes. I used to. I used to have a team. Like my during Mega Evolution uh, VGCs, I my team was based around Talonflame. You know when Brave Bird was good, but whatever, can't go back in time, I guess. Yeah, Talonflame outspeeds Durant, but like easy, right? Easy, and that's uh, yeah. Before Dur- Tailwind, Durant's one hundred nine, Talonflame's one twenty nine. Mm, Charizard does not outspeed Durant, but what can Durant do to Charizard? Max Rockfall. Yeah, but, Max you're, but fall, you've dude. got Gigantamax Charizard. Like, I think that's a still, win. Still weak to rock type moves. But yeah, four times. Leons. Yeah, Charizard, Charizard, and Talonflame are both weak to f- both four times weak to rock fall rock moves and Durant one Durant one shots. And if for some reason Talonflame and Charizard were running Focus Sash, which they're not, the the Sandstorm then kills if it doesn't one shot. And all you need to pair with Durant is follow me, right? So if you're like, oh, I'm just going to use a fire move against Durant, you just, whatever, literally anything can sit there and follow me and take the fire type move so Durant doesn't. So what happened to Brave Bird? Uh, so they nerfed it where um, the... It was its ability, wasn't it? It wasn't the move. No, Big Pex was the ability. Oh, I don't know. They nerfed Brave Bird so that you had to be at 100% health. No. It was... <laughs> No. It's it's a, a no 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 no. Mm-hmm. It's ability Gale Wings gave it priority. Gale Wings. Gale Wings, there Gale you Wings go. gave That's increased the one. priority. Look, I'm an old man. I have <laughs> it's bad like memory. I've seen people use Brave Bird way lower than they've knocked themselves out. So okay, so this is what happened. So in Generation Six, when Talonflame was introduced, 
Gale Wings, the ability gave priority to any flying type move. And then in Generation 7, Gale Wings only works when the user is at full HP. Mm. So you get there one you shot. So what people did since Gen 7 is they Tailwind on turn one because they're guaranteed to go first because Tailwind is a flying type move. And because Tailwind is then set up because of Gale Wings, you're going to win the speed battle after that. So I, I, I do think that Talonflame is going to go super, super up. But I don't know what the, I don't know what the solution, I don't know what the easy solution against Durant is. Unless you taunt the person who's going to use Follow Me. But I think Follow Me has priority over taunt, so that doesn't work. What if I have a Prankster Sableye? I think Follow Me is plus two priority, right? Taunt is only plus one. Is it? Look, I don't know. Where yeah. does, okay. <laughs> yes. Fo- Where does it say? Follow me is plus two. Taunt okay. is plus zero. And but can we with- say the real name of the move is follow the finger? Because yes. that's the name finger in Japanese. Follow. And that's a much better name. Yeah. Dusk- Dusclops probably should have been banned. It was so dominant the first couple seasons. And then Porygon 2 came out. And then Porygon 2 was better than Dusclops. But Porygon 2 suffered the ban instead. Which is pro- probably, I, I don't know, probably better, but Dusclops will, is back. Um, Urshifu is still good. Arcanine will probably go way up. Uh, the Swords of Justice are probably going to go way up. Terrakion and Cobalion Koba- specifically, no one uses Verizian. Dracovish avoided the ban. Grimmsnarl avoided the ban. Poly- Rain teams go super, super up. Uh, Rain, Rain, unfortunately, was not dominant. People thought because Politoed was returning with the Isle of Armor that we would see a lot of Rain teams because Politoed is a way better Rain setter than Pelipper was. Uh, Zoomeral with huge power came through the Isle of Armor, but because of the dominance of Rillaboom, we didn't really see Rain teams. So we'll probably see a lot of Rain teams in Season 6, I'm assuming. Uh, Duraludon, not banned, so that's safe. Uh, Corviknight probably goes way, 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 way up. Corviknight has a really good showing with the Players Cup this this past weekend, so Corviknight is probably going to be fine. Um, I'm assuming Colossal is still safe. Gothitelle was pretty we used quite often in the first couple seasons, um, so I would probably see Gothitelle returning. My boy Gastrodon still safe. Uh, Comfey has been seeing a lot of play, so I would assume that Comfey goes way, way up as well. Mudsdale safe. Muds, my, yeah, Muds, Mudsdale is Mudsdale so, is very dominant season one, two, and three, and it was when season four came, which was Gigantamax Lapras, where Mudsdale went from like five percent usage to less than one percent usage. Oh, I've got a shiny one of those naturally caught in the wild. So I think it's exciting. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. No, no more Rillaboom, no more Dragapult, no more Cinderace. So, <laughs> no more Super Luck Togekiss. Well, until Season 7, or Series 7. Yeah, or- the other thing, the, the other actual takeaway here is that a lot of competitive players were worried about the forces of nature returning. That is your Thunderous, your Tornadus, your Landorus. Land- Bring back the genies. They they have they're not genies. They uh, <laughs> they don't grant wishes. Well, not all genies grant r- wishes. I know. Rude. They were very dominant. They've always been dominant. All 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 three of those. I think both Thunderous and Tornadus have Prankster, and Landorus has Intimidate. So the fact that they ban these Pokemon means that if the forces of nature become dominant when the Cron Tundra comes out, which we know they're coming in Cron Tundra, as well as the Tapus. We know the Tapus are coming because they were in the trailer as well. They could be banned in future seasons, uh, which will probably be the case because I don't see why, how Landorus doesn't make it top 10 uh, once it comes back. So that's good. That's better than... It's almost like at E3 when they stood on stage and they said the reason we cut Pokemon was for a better competitive meta. 
and everyone on Reddit who has no clue how competitive works threw their arms up in the air and pointed at GMAX Dreadnought, which has a less than 0.5% use rate. <laughs> it's almost like they've had Dreadnought, for the record, is 0.02% use rate. Sad. It's almost like they weren't lying to us, that there was has been a pretty healthy meta in the vgc for the last nine months and it's nice that it's changed so often and they've introduced no new pokemon and they've now removed pokemon that have dominated so uh i'm excited and i think my mudsdale will be good again okay uh, two more news pieces of news this is off silicon era pokemon lead interface designer wants your feedback that title is a little misleading dave gibson who works at creatures not Game Freak. Uh, it's Creatures Incorporated. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. They tweeted, what UI slash UX mistakes drive you absolutely mad in Pokemon games? I want to ship the next game with a top end experience and your feedback is invaluable. So they tweeted this. So a couple things. One, they work at Creatures, not Game Freak. Number two, In their actual Twitter bio, they say they're working on Detective Pikachu. (laughs) (laughs) So I am sure they were bombarded with tons of things unrelated to the two. Uh, I'm not saying that you can't say to them, like, hey, specifically in Sword and Shield, I hated that the x button did this or whatever because they ui and ux so that's user interface so that what's the ux for hot shot the x is the user experience thank you very much so this is how a person interacts with the menus and the actual game not specifically mechanics like so being like man i I wish togekiss super luck wasn't at 30 like that's not what they're fa- nothing to do with abilities it's just like how you interact with the product so a really good user interface or user experience problem would be i'm playing sword and shield i went to pokemon home they both have pc boxes why are the buttons different that is like i i knew that is exactly where you were going i knew, that's like i knew that was number 1 and then number 2 is going to be i hate the noises that the menus make when you press the buttons that there's like a screeching noise that's not well, i guess that's an experience but i can yeah, just, it is. i can just mute that okay if your solution to a user experience problem is to modify the outputs of the system then that's a a problem that needs to be solved yeah i mean i still think that home and pokemon sword and shield should have the same buttons oh you are the only person who has this greg greg back me up i don't want to (laughs) but you're right (laughs) they should you should pay attention to what's happening on the screen and not just assume that every button press is going to be the same across platforms. Yeah, but they they teach you how to do it and then they're like, or nah. It's just, they could make it better. It doesn't have to be that way. I, I, will, I will give that to you, yes. <laughs> I mean, you know I don't want to say yes, but I have no choice. I think the actual news story here isn't specifically like, like I I don't actually care the an the, what the answers are that people are given this dude. I think the cool <laughs> I think the cool thing here is one, we found somebody who has admitted they're working on Detective Pikachu, a game yeah. a, a game we haven't heard about in in what a year now. Yeah, I mean it's been a while. And two, we have found somebody who works at Creatures. This has been like <laughs> the mystery person, right. the mystery. Like we we know like a handful of people that work at Game Freak. We don't know. We know Game Freak has like two hundred employees. We know like five of them. Uh, one being James Turner. One being Masuda. One being I can't remember the other ones. <laughs> but we we found a an English speaking employee at creatures working on detective pikachu which that that's not the surprise we know that creatures was the one that made detective pikachu for the 3ds so we kind of just assumed that they were making detective pikachu for the switch 
So I think that in itself is is, is news. Uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if this tweet gets deleted in the future because the Pokemon company is real weird about that kind of stuff. Uh, but Silicon Era said they they scanned the tweets. The things that popped up the most was Sword and Shield players were want touchscreen controls for menus when the Switch is in handheld mode. Um, other players, including to incru- improve sorting, storage, connecting with online friends. When I looked at the, the, the thread, it was a lot of people complaining about the YCOM. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's valid. Some people were suggesting the series should do a Sin, Shin Megami Tensai with a UI within the world. I don't specifically know what that means. Um, I know it's related to Persona, but I don't know. Yeah, Say it I again? Can... Uh, they just said that they would like the UI to be more Shin Megami Tensai. Oh, more like that. Okay. I don't know it well enough. To... Yeah, I've never really played those games. I played Persona, but... I don't know if that's different than which persona did you play? The one on the the four, the five, the whatever the newest one was, with the masks. Yeah, with the masks. Yeah, yeah. I never played that one. I've never played a persona game. Oh, you're missing out, dude. I that's know some stuff. There's some stuff. Final bit of news here, set in from Kevin from our Slack community, is Vaporeon is at Build a Bear. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, you got to end Sweet. with a strong note here. When you and I went to Build a Bear, it was there was no Vaporeon, but there was a Snubble. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Was there Snubble. an F- Evolution? Yeah, there was a Jolteon. Oh, that's right. Because then you made fun of Jolteon. Uh, well, okay. Look, I'm always on Jolteon watch. And he- here's the news, people. Uh, Steve did not make me a uh, build a anything. It's true. So. We we went in, we looked, and we went out. It was Steve COVID. We had to we anything. had to move quickly. We had to move. Or the germs are going to catch you. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greg, give us our question of the week. Now's the point in the podcast when we will answer a question asked, and it's time, time, time for the question of the question of the week. Is that country? Johnny Cash. Ugh. Oh, which Johnny Cash? <gasps> Ring of Fire. <laughs> Good I job. Just, down, down, down <laughs> into burning mm-hmm. Ring of Fire. fire. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is from Haley in our Slack community. They ask, which ISE break music song is your favorite? It's almost like we have a Kickstarter going on that ends this week. <laughs> <laughs> I am very partial to glory to America. Mm. Lord of America makes me laugh every time. I it's mean, both. Mm, yeah. Uh, because, but you, you have the visual to go with it. I that's do. like what that's, you've got I that mean, other that people is, don't. I, I was there for the reality, and I was there. For, I also like pumpkin spice only because I was thinking about it because I was in the grocery store last weekend and all the pumpkin spices cereal is back. Oh, man. Halloween candy is already I know. Out. <laughs> um, And I like... Uh, I also really like who's your favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, that is my least favorite. I'm so tired of hearing that. Ugh. Who's your favorite Pokemon I don't always to works them all off. always works well when we have like a guest on because there's two of them. Yeah. You can run part one before, part two after. Much like you recently did with the uh Yes, with Yale the Joshua inter- interview. Uh, Yale interview, yeah. Um ah, boy, what is my favorite? I mean I I would say, like, if I had the opportunity to remaster, do one over, it would be the Katamari cast one. Yeah. Uh, because it's just like the, the, the tempo was off. <laughs> um, and I'd like, to, I'd like to see that fixed. I mean, I love Brussels sprouts is good. Brussels sprouts mm. is good, yeah. Brussels sprouts is good. I, what is the one that's like... I remember it came out when I was in Hawaii, and it was like... <laughs> Where <laughs> the walk this way one is very no 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 uh it's like it was like it should be a zap or something oh the the it, I think it's bop bop is what it's called something like that yeah making a beep that oh one, yeah and I like yeah, that making one a, lot. a beep is good uh, but I I but don't I mean, know if that one's called the, bop the, bop the 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 classic original bun dun dance is. 
you know, yeah. it's, it's hard to beat that one. <laughs> yeah. That one's all right. No, Bop Bop is different. Bop Bop is where Greg goes, ooh, Bop Bop. <laughs> <laughs> Making a beep is different, but they're both good. They're Making both- a beep is different. Oh, I forget even why we were talking about the beep. Who put the beep up? The beep was uh, oh. Rochelle. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, but yeah. it, was in, it was in reference to something specific. I don't re- I yeah. Oh, God. oh no! It was like they were advertising something, and yes, 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 yes they yes, like yes. just could have chosen better words. I'm also, uh, I really like uh, exclusive, which was Will saying exclusive in the Microsoft voice. <laughs> the Microsoft <laughs> voice. Uh, that one always, I don't know, it gets a chuckle out of me. Uh, Leg tubes is a classic as well. I'm actually really excited for this album. <laughs> <laughs> Will, Pokemon of the week. All right. So last week's Pokemon, um, what I didn't say in the clues and everything, uh, is known as the poor man's Gastrodon. (laughs) 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 Or or, AKA, why aren't you using Gastrodon? Why is she using Gastrodon? Um, Yes, it was my Pokemon named Tickles from the 2012 U.S. Nationals VGC competition uh, it knows Fisher, which is a one hit knockout move, but it only has like a 25% accuracy. So nobody ever uses it because you're going to lose. Uh, also knows Aqua Tail, Earthquake, and Future Sight. And Future Sight uh, has the uh, ability Anticipation, which it's like one of the few non psychic types that has that ability. And thank you. I didn't look up the Twitter. Somebody wrote me on Twitter about why. This particular Pokemon has like the anticipation and the earthquake and Fisher and everything like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's reasons if you look at some Japanese lore and history. Um, and uh, Smogon um, has I read, read a little piece off Smogon about how basically it's awful even in the lowest <laughs> usage <laughs> t- Smogon tier of PU. <laughs> So who is it? It's Barboach. Go go further. Go deeper. Barboach go does not have a W on its head. Also, <laughs> it's, it's not a W's. fully evolved Pokemon. It's got Why would you use that in VGCs? <laughs> well, it's Whiskat. I, I had to say the wrong Pokemon. I knew oh, what okay. it was. Yeah, I mean, you were there, so. I mean, so are those Ws on its side? Like, on the Barboach? It's like the Charlie Brown symbol ah like his shirt yeah Mm. and it just becomes the w for win and i'm going to say it now Wizcash has maybe the best pokemon shuffle icon does it really of all time i love it so much is it like a derpy face oh it's so cute it's just smiling straight at you the thing is, Whiskash, it's like, it's a great poke. I mean, for a water type Pokemon, it is a great Pokemon. And yet, it just gets like shortchanged in every possible way. Yeah. No Gastrodon. Well, I mean, yes, it's no Gastrodon, but you know the nice thing? You don't have to worry about which side of Hoenn you yeah. go, not Sinnoh, you got it from. <laughs> Look at that shiny, dude. Look yeah. at that shiny. That is glorious. It is a good shiny, too. Great shuffle. Good shiny. No trivia. <laughs> no trivia at all? That's not right. That can't be. Wishcast is based on Namazu, a catfish in Japanese mythology that causes earthquakes. Uh, I like Wishcast. Okay, so the other thing uh, is that... Um, not only do they think that uh, catfish can cause, or they had the thing about catfish causing yes. uh, earthquakes, there was also a time where they felt that catfish could predict earthquakes. Mm-hmm. So that's why it has anticipation and uh, future sight, so that it can like see into the future. Future, can we just stop for a minute and say how dumb of a move future sight is? <laughs> it does no yeah. damage until like what two turns later. Yeah, not great. It's yeah. Not great. <laughs> But if you predict it, and they forget, win. It's true. If you knock you have out to all be their dark types, so confident in your future sight. There you go. All right. 
This week's Pokemon of the Week has no shuffle icon or shiny because it's not a Pokemon. Oh. We're, we're taking a break from the Pokemon for a minute. <sighs> Here we go. And also, Steve, if I say uh, redo that, edit that part out. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> like, why can't I say, why do I have to sound bad? All right. <laughs> Wait, did you do that last week? Yes, because oh, I said I'm... it's. I I started out and I said, uh, as we have now reached my personal eight anniversary, and then I'm like, that should be eighth. Let me start over. And as we have now reached my personal eighth, and you just left it in. Yes. Oh, my whatever. <laughs> it's your, your, Usually, this is all documented that, in the lawsuit. Yes, right. it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's down there. Yeah, it's down there in the lower paragraphs, but it's in there. Don't Ye- you worry. Making Will look bad on a weekly basis. All right, here we go. (laughs) Non-Pokemon Pokemon of the Week. Okay. If you are planning on taking up mountain biking as a hobby, be prepared to learn quite a few things. We learn so much about your life in these things. I do my best. One, (laughs) mountain bikes, specifically full suspension mountain bikes, are incredibly expensive. Mm. Number two, there are multiple variations on mountain biking. Cross-country, enduro, downhill, free ride, trail, and others. Three, you need a lot of protective gear, and you're still going to get hurt. In Hoenn, bikes played a particularly important role for the progression of the game, requiring mastery of two types of bikes to access certain portions of the map. The Mach bike, which has the greatest similarity to a road or gravel bike, is the faster of the two bikes and allows you to go up muddy slopes or cross cracked tiles without falling through. Personally, I was never able to master the mock bike and had someone else complete Sky Pillar for me mm. as my dexterity was insufficient. This week's non-Pokemon item is the other bike, the one <laughs> that is most similar to a mountain bike. You are able to perform tricks with this bike, including wheelies and bunny hops. One of the most useful features of this bike is the ability to bunny hop in one place which attracts the attention of wild Pokemon without incrementing your step count. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's either easy or hard. Depends on your life experiences, folks. Uh, wi- uh, Will, when I eventually get into Minnesota, when my wife finds a job there and we move, we should get those uh, boosted skateboards. No. What? I have a skateboard skateboard, and that's good enough. Yeah, but that's Heck, for, like, tricks and showing off. I'm, th- I'm talking, we, we, need, we need one to move. Like, we need to get from board. point A Just to get point a, B. Get, get a long, well, we will go to Eric's Bikes and Boards, and we'll get long boards and push them with our feet, just <sighs> like we did in the old days. I love how I'm here and not a part of this plan. Greg, you ain't going on no skateboard. Yeah, I, there's you no way you're getting on a skateboard. I know your knees. I feel like, Greg, you're more of a roller I, skate kind of guy, not a skateboard kind of guy. I don't know how to skate. Yeah. I had a skateboard as a kid. Oh, we all did. We all did. Not me. I was never allowed to have a skateboard as a kid, which is why I have Look, one as an I, adult. I am fixing my knee right now. It is perfectly taped. Well, it's not perfectly taped. It is taped up and held into position. I am right. working on it. We're going to go out to the Egan Skate Park, Greg. Okay. We'll do uh, a couple of rail, rail slides. I'm, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> wait, 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 you want in or you want in? Look. Oh, I wrote about the one wheel. I, 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 might, I might be down for a one I wheel. I could maybe do a one wheel. I mean, if Alan Girding can do a one wheel, I think we can all do a yeah, one wheel. We can all do <laughs> that's That is that the is, statement of the that century. That is valid. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kickstarter till the end of the week. Pay for my one wheel. Um, the Kickstarter money is <laughs> not going lawsuit. to anyone's one wheel. I have just reminding there's YouTube content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I've invested a lot of the money into the YouTube. So if you need something to watch at work or something in the evening or something on the weekend and you don't want to watch the Twitch streams, which we also do five times a week. Twitch.tv slash PKMNCast. You want to see the best of the Twitch. Like, oh, There's a lot of six hours of content. Something in that six hours has to be good every day. And we take the, the, the small bits of goodness from the, 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 the Twitch stream. We highly edit it. We put it on YouTube. I think it's good. Uh, I think that my editor does a great job. Mm, I agree. 
when mon- Mondays are the podcast, Wednesdays and Fridays are the YouTube stuff. Pokemon Masters, TCG, Pokemon Go, Sword and Shield. It's it, it's everything you'd want. The only and thing we're missing more. is Cafe Mix. None of that yet, but maybe one day. Yeah. I mean, Greg and I have played Cafe Mix. Yeah. Are you guys still playing Cafe Mix? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Look, Masters got a bunch of stuff. Dragalia Lost added a bunch of stuff. Final Fantasy has a patch. I have to write a book. I have to work. I got a whole I mean, bunch of stuff going on right now. I wish I had as many excuses as Greg, but primarily, I dropped my phone in the bathroom, and that was enough to crack the screen, and it's <gasps> real hard to play Cafe Mix with a cracked screen. <laughs> oh, no. That's what you get for having expensive bathroom floor. You got to get the cheap bathroom floor. doesn't oh, break that, your phone. That bounces <laughs> when you drop something. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, all the same. PKMNCast. Uh, we have a subreddit. Uh, 1,300 people on it. R slash super effective. All of these links in the show notes if you cannot remember them. Although I will probably try to change the subreddit to match. I haven't done that yet. I said that last week. It's so this week. Get into that. <laughs> Narrator, it never happened. Maybe one of these days. Kickstarter. Greg is at White Wing. Will is at Washing the Sink. I am at Dragging a Lake. We will see you guys next week. This has been another episode of the Pokemon Podcast, and we are super effective. Super Cinderace will never be banned from my heart. I chose Grookey. I did too. Shield. (laughs) (laughs) It's a better game. Yes. A quick shout out to everyone who supports us on Patreon. If you would like to support It's Super Effective, you can head over to patreon.com slash it's super effective, or you can head over to isc.cash if you would like to support the podcast. Shout out to our producers of this episode, K, Kevin, Catherine, Courtney, Matthew, Anthony, Jetsy, Patrick, Casey, Liam, Potato, and our executive producer of Spencer. Thank you all for your support. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you next week.